This is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, from the area's largest television news organization, this is Newswatch 16 Weekend. Good evening, everyone. History came alive in Scranton today. And hundreds of people witnessed it. It was the start of passenger train rides at the new Hilton at Lackawanna Station. Among those in the middle of all the excitement was Newswatch 16's Kathy Bellich. I christened the Steamtown Scranton. With the smashing of a bottle of champagne and the hooting of a steam whistle, The Hilton at Lackawanna Station in Scranton launched its first passenger train in years. More than 500 people were aboard the first run of Steamtown USA. There was lots of singing and laughter as the train made the 22-mile round trip to Elmhurst and back. The speed of the train may not have been so impressive, 15 miles an hour, but just being on it was all that mattered to the enthusiastic people who filled these seats. Beth Porter says she traveled this route all the time when she was younger to meet her boyfriend in Elmhurst, that is, until they were married. I, I wish I got three tickets for the three rides. It's fascinating, isn't it? 11-year-old John Eisenhower of Scranton dressed up for the occasion to get a feel for what he calls the good old days. They were in knickers like this, and they were these hats go on the side, and, like, it's fun. It's real fun. It's the best thing in the world for Scranton. I think it'll be worked out fine for them. I'm very pleased. Are you going to make a trip again? Many, many times. All of our relatives are coming up from all across. We've sent notices to everybody. Oh, really? Are they excited about it? Oh, it's very ecstatic. These first passengers enjoyed most of the scenery, which included the Elmhurst Reservoir, the old Petersburg Silk Mill, and a local junkyard. That didn't go over too well, and it doesn't go over too well with the Steamtown crew either. We, we timed it. It's 45 seconds as we go by it. And we've, we've tried to figure out ways of screening it, and there are ways with both trees and with the kinds of fences that they put along the interstate, a baffled kind of fence, but uh, it's in the future. Hopefully it'll be done before we have the fall foliage season. So Spectators who didn't get on the first trip lined the railroad tracks from Scranton all the way to Elmhurst just to watch the old steam engine do its thing. And when the first trip returned to the train station in Scranton, there was song and celebration. Memories of yesterday a part of the city's heritage is now a part of its future. This is one of the most exciting days for the city of Scranton that the people here can remember. A passenger train is once again leaving the old E&L station after more than a dozen years, and it's making the Hilton at Lackawanna station a real train station once again. Kathy Bellich, Newswatch 16, Scranton. Although the train rides have begun, the Steamtown Museum is not up to full steam yet. The train you see from Skycam 16 chucking along the tracks in Lackawanna County is only part of Steamtown. To bring the rest of it here will take more money. Steamtown fundraising chairman John Hart says $500,000 more dollars is needed, but Hart says the trains will be brought to Scranton little by little, probably starting this fall. He hopes most of it will be here by the start of winter. The memory of the summer Olympics.